This is how you differentiate your business in just one step. And you tell me if you indeed can do that by the end of this video. So how do you differentiate your business? Is it merely doing something different? Well, let me share with you three case studies and you decide if being different is good enough to differentiate your business. First up is Uniqlo. Now, every time I step foot onto the store, right, the staff will shout, Welcome to Uniqlo. I don't know if they still do this today, but I thought it's annoying AF. I guess they just wanted to be different from other stores, but do they need to like announce every customer's arrival? I mean, you know, I don't just hear this welcome once, I hear it dozens of times whenever I'm in their store. So the next case study is East Coast Food Center, particularly the restrooms there. Now this happened years ago when my son was just a toddler. So you'll find some plants by the wash basin and they designed a place for the open field. So yes, it was supposed to offer a different experience, but when my son was there, he was lamenting at how dirty the whole place was with the wet sand in the basins and on the floor. Perhaps many beach goers, they wash their feet there. Now third story is this e-commerce store's packaging that uh, they sent. So all their packages are in a rather nice blue box with a thank you card attached. I mean, it's definitely different from those trash bag wrapped uh, packages that we always receive all the time, right? But the point is, because of all the tips, there's really no way I won't destroy the box and even the card during the unboxing process. It's really a waste of their time to differentiate themselves this way. Now, these three businesses, they tried to differentiate themselves by doing something different from their counterparts. But frankly, they reap little to no results. In fact, I'm somewhat annoyed by one of them too. But take a look at what other businesses do instead to differentiate themselves. Look at the Apple Store. Now, instead of every employee screaming welcome, they made them into geniuses. Every one of them is trained to give friendly, insightful advice to accurately promote the Apple's brand. Then, there are the restrooms in Changi Airport. Have you seen how clean they are? Do you know that each restroom is assigned a full-time cleaner to ensure that you won't see any wet countertops or floors? And finally, there's Nespresso's online store. No, they don't send their capsules in fancy food wrappers, but they are known for their speed. So even if I order just before 9 p.m., I can schedule for next day delivery at 3 p.m. So why do these three companies shine in their differentiation and not the first three? Well, because the latter three are not aiming to be different. They are friendlier, cleaner, and faster. In other words, with just one step of differentiation, they are better. Because the way I see it, right, if you are different, you are necessarily better. But if you are better, then for sure you are different. And this is how I came up with the term, different term. So now it's your turn to think about it. Can you be friendlier, cleaner, or faster? Can your business give better service than 99% of your competitors? Or sell a product that lasts longer than 99% of others? How can you be better by that one step instead of being different? Do let me know in the comments below. And even if you can think of any suggestions, right, I'm happy to help suggest something better that your business can offer to differentiate yourself.